Hello and welcome, this is Marcus from Infosec Governance. This video is all going to be about disabling all the ciphers for Windows. Uh, we're going to be talking about how do you disable SSL version 2, SSL version 3 and the older TLS versions 1 and 1.1. In this video we're just going to uh, do it on Windows 10 but you can do this on all the older versions from Windows 7 upwards. It's just exactly the same procedures. So what we're going to do here is, as you can see, we've got a Windows 10 machine here. The IP address is 192.168.3.134. And what I have is, I've got a, another Kali machine here. where We're just going to do a quick scan just to see what's available and then go from there. So we're just going to do an SSL scan. 192.168.3.134. And as you can see, because it's Windows 10, it doesn't have all a lot of the older ciphers on, but we still have TLS version 1.0, which is not really uh, nice to have. And we've also got 1.1. But um, yeah, what we'll do is we'll go and do these changes and then we'll rescan and see what's happened. So back to Windows 10, all you need to do is go to start or whatever this <laughs> the button's called and go to regedit. You have to be a local administrator to do this on this machine. Click yes. And then what you need to do is go down to HK local machine, uh, system, current control sets, control and then look for security providers which is there and then s channel and then down to protocols and you may or may not have some stuff in here if you don't have it in it's fine all you need to do is create whatever you need so what we do is create a new key and we'll start off with the older one so we'll go tls 1.0 and then tls 1.1 SSL 2.0 and SSL 3.0 and then for each of these you can either disable the client or the server side of things ideally for the older ones you just need to disable both of them so again while you're clicking on this key here just got a new key and then type server and then client and you just need to do that for each one again so server clients and again if you're going to do this in the corporate environment you can do all this via group policy just so it's easier so you don't have to do it on every single machine you can just uh, do it create a group policy create the registry entries and then push it out but again you know test make sure it works first that nothing breaks that you got no legacy stuff before you actually go and do it Okay, so that's the last one. And then what you need to do is in each of these, you need to go to new and then go to a D word and then just say enabled and leave the values default of zero. If you put uh, enabled and you change the zero to a one, so if you go in here and change that zero to a one, that would actually enable it. So for disabling, it's zero. So again, just go to client, D word, enabled. No, not a key. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, D word. Had a bit of a mind blank there. And again, you know, always test this sort of stuff before pushing it out to a live environment. You know, make make sure there's no applications, legacy things that actually need it, or you're not hosting anything that needs it, because it could break. And if it breaks, it I guess it's simple enough just to go back in and change the value from zero to one reboot the machine and yeah that should be fine so what we've done here is we've got all these in now so what you need to do is just restart the machine just to take effect so we'll just quickly restart this hopefully it'll come back up in a couple of seconds Hopefully Windows 10 is not actually going to install a lot of updates while we're rebooting this. And if it does, we'll just cut that out. But hey. Okay, so that's back up. So what we'll do is just pop back over to the Linux machine. Give that a couple of seconds. So as you can see, before we did the scan, you got TLS1, TLS0. So if we do another rescan, TLS1 and TLS0 are all gone, just like that. 
And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to us to follow more videos that we're going to be posting up. If you do like this, uh, feel free to click on the notification bell and you'll get notified as soon as we put any new videos up. This is a new channel and we will be putting a lot of new videos up um, over the coming weeks and months. So we'd like you to get involved in it. You know, feel free to put any comments in the videos, you know, and um, suggest what you might like or any comments about you doing it yourself. Okay, thanks.